Hey you, this is me Ramona and I would like to show you my new pencil case. Now I am the owner of a Prismacolor Premier 150 count pencil set. And if you know the set or if you own it, you know that uh, they the pencils come in this nice box. I think this box is great. I appreciate it. But if you would like to travel with your pencils, this box is not very convenient for uh, carrying along with you. Now, I've been looking for a pencil case that would hold all of my pencils, and I did find one, but that one was uh, inconvenient in the sense that I had to unfold each leaf that would hold the pencils, and then it would take over the entire desk. And this week I found this baby. Now let me tell you, this is a nice pencil case. I bought it off of Amazon. We live in a small desert town about an hour and a half to two hours away from the next bigger city where you could do some decent shopping. And even there, I would not be able to get this case. So I bought it off of Amazon. Now, the person I got it from has it in three colors, which is rose red, black, and green. Now, this is supposed to be the green one. And let me tell you, it is not green. To me, it looks more like a turquoise or aqua blue or something like that. It's definitely not a traditional green. Uh, but it spoke to me, and I got this color. The price of it was... Uh, as a prime member $25.99 which means you know uh, no shipping charges for it and I also have seen it cheaper uh, for $19 so it depends you know if you if you're familiar with with Amazon the the prices can change within hours uh, it is a high capacity uh, pencil case and I will show you what you can fit in this puppy in about a minute. Um, first, let me talk about the outside. It is a PU type of material, has a little bit of a texture to it. And if you uh, should get it dirty, uh, no problem. Uh, you can get that off with a you know, damp cloth and just wipe it clean. Now, if you check it out, the stitching is really nice and strong, so it should hold up for quite some time. The size of it is, uh, let's see, the, the height of it is 9.45 inches. The width of it is 7.87 inches. And the depth of it is 3.15 inches. In centimeters, it would be 24 centimeters, 20 centimeters, uh, 8 centimeters in depth. Uh, the construction of it is kind of like a book, and I love that. Let me show you what I mean. You have, when you turn it on its side, you have like a, a spine, and the spine is open from, from top to bottom. Then when I turn it around, you can see that it has four compartments. So it's a double compartment, and you can fit pencils on to the left and to the right. So there's a lot of room in, the, in, in this case. The compartments are held together very strongly, so that is nice. It is a sturdy case, and you can also see substantial. There's, you know, it's not a small case per se, but it's a lot more compact than the box you, you get with your pencils. Now, the zippers are made out of plastic. They're not a metal kind of zipper, but I have had no problems with them. There's no snagging or pulling when, uh, when you try to unzip these. They're really nice zippers. Then when I turn it this way, you can see it has a carrying loop. And I have to say I'm not crazy about carrying loops because when you fill this case with your pencil, it is quite uh, heavy. And if you would have to carry it on your wrist or in your hand, your hand would fatigue quite easily. Um, it does the job if you want to carry it from point A to point B, but I wish it maybe had a 
a thicker, more sturdy handle uh, on the spine of this case. Uh, it would be easier to carry, I think. It's still, it's not a deal breaker. It is a nice uh, uh, carrying strap, uh, finished nicely with uh, and sewn together with a zigzag stitch and uh, actually pretty strong. So it, it is a nice uh, carrying loop. The other thing I'm not all that crazy about are these zipper pulls. Now, they are kind of like flimsy and uh, skinny. And what bugs me the most about them is when you close your, your case, sometimes they slide back in here behind the, uh, you know, the case's spine. And it can be quite a pain trying to get them back out like this one. And so that is, you know, kind of annoying at times. Still not a deal breaker. What I will do is remove these zipper pulls and replace them with a, something a bit more sturdy and uh, more size to them so they won't uh, slide back in here and give me so much grief when I try to get them back out. Now let me go ahead and open the case for you and show you what the inside looks like. Here, check it out. The, the zippers just work perfectly. There's no snagging, no pulling, nothing. And um, they are nice zippers. Now here, now here is the inside. Isn't that nice? Now, I have the 150 set, which obviously leaves you more room. And the reason is that this case will hold 168 pencils. Again, 168 pencils. So I have the spare room to carry some of my other uh, pens with me uh, that I think I need the most. In addition to uh, the room for your pencils, there are also three larger hoops where you can carry your eraser or your um, like a ruler or your uh, pencil sharpener. In mine right now, I have my eraser. I carry a little uh, pair of scissors with me and a glue stick. I also have my Tombow a uh, black brush pen in here, some of my favorite Micron pens. I have a blender stamp. I have the Prismacolor uh, pencil. I have two of the Pentel hybrid tech pens in here. I have uh, um, a fountain pen that my daughter sent me from Germany. I love this pen. I have my, um, the, 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 uh, what do you call it? The China marker in here and the fuzzy. And on the other side, I still had some room for my favorite white gel pens. Now you can see you don't only have room for your uh, uh, pencils, you could also organize your gel pens in this case. I own a set of 120 gel pens and most of the uh, the jelly roll gel pens from sakura so they would fit in here nicely and um yeah so not just for pencils you know other types of uh, writing utensils and uh, pens will fit here as well now let me flip that around now doesn't that look nice nice organized and pretty it looks so pretty i love it now each pen has a loop and a lot of uh, pencil cases, you get like a larger loop and you have to put three or four pencils in one loop, which I don't like because you remove one pencil, then the other ones, they just slip slide around in there. And I really don't like that. And here, each pencil in this case has its own spot, has its own loop. 
and it just looks nice. Also, they're, they're in there quite strongly. Um, you know, they don't slide, slide back and forth, nothing. The loops are strong and uh, sturdy. So let me flip over the next section. Now you can see here a couple of pencils are missing. I'm using them right now uh, to do some decorating in my uh, Fobonichi. And that's why they're not in here. And then here is the last section. Again, one missing. And that is it. So plenty of room for your 150 set. And if you have even a larger set, still quite a few spots uh, for some extra pencils. Now, if you wonder how I organize my pencils, I'm not a professional artist or anything. Uh, I don't even think I'm an artist. I just like coloring and I like drawing and doodling and such. So I don't organize by color family or by the way that the colors complement each other like you know artists sometimes do I go by this chart this is the Prisma color 150 color chart and I printed it out and I leave a link down in the description below and made me a color sample chart I used each pencil filled in the circles and uh, but if you look underneath the circle, it has the pencil number and the pencil color name that you find on your pencils. So what I did, I went and used this chart, started at the beginning and filled my sections here. And I think it looks nice. Now, if I make use of a lot of my pencils, um, by the time I'm done, I just use this chart uh, according to the numbers and put each pencil back in its uh, loop and where it belongs. So that's how I organize. So this, this chart is always in, um, in my pencil case. Also, uh, uh, you, you know, it's great because you see what each pencil looks like. Sometimes, sometimes it's not very obvious when you look at the, uh, at the pencil itself. So you can check it out, see which color fits nicely with your uh, decor in your planner or in your journals and such. So this uh, comes in handy. So if you have the set and not this chart, go and uh, print it out. It comes in really handy. So it always stays in here. I always carry it with me. And this is my new pencil case. Now, if you know of a pencil case that, that might even be better than this one, I'd love for you to leave me a comment and uh, give the information where I might find it. I always appreciate, uh, you know, that type of information. So that would be cool. In uh, the meantime, I think this is the best one uh, I have found so far. I can throw it in my art uh, bag and just take it with me, no problem. And, um, you know, it saves space even though it is a large case. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give this pencil case a try. You have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.